All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Lakers Daily. My name is Jackson. I post daily Lakers content, so hit that like button. Hit that sub button if you guys enjoy it. We have Buddy Heald trade update news according to Shams. The Pacers and Buddy Heald are open to a trade ahead of the season, assuming it makes sense for both sides per Shams. The Lakers surely could use Heald's shooting, durability, and veteran savvy, although his defense, handle, and current multi-year deal, more than $40 million over two seasons, raise questions about the fit. So I have many things to say about this. Buddy Heald, realistically, with the way his contract is, with his defensive liabilities, you could get away with like a second-round pick and just some type of young, promising-ish talent. The Indiana Pacers right now, if you are not aimed at Victor Wembenyama, I have tough news for you. You should be, because your team sucks. You have the prospects, brand new addition, Benedict Mathurin. You have Tyrese. Getting Tyrese Halliburton was a crazy, amazing trade for them. But you're not going to win, right? So what is the value of Buddy Heald and Miles Turner on your basketball team? Well, I don't know. The, for some weird reason, the Indiana Pacers view Miles Turner as the next Shaquille O'Neal. Well, I have tough news for you, Indiana. Not only is Miles Turner definitely not the next Shaquille O'Neal, he can't stay healthy. It's pretty limited on the offensive end. He's a good rim protector. He's a great rim protector, and he can stretch the floor. But he can't do much on offense outside of shoot threes and protect the rim, which is something that's very valuable. I'm not trying to knock Miles Turner, but guess what, Indiana? He's not Shaq. I get you want two first-round picks. Guess what? You're not going to get it. I have tough news for you, Indiana. Like, geez, get a grip. If Buddy Heald wasn't on this absurd, I don't even want to say the word absurd because he's a very talented offensive player, but but like I'm saying, man, if Buddy Heald wasn't on a a $20-plus-million-a-year contract, he'd be on the Lakers right now. He'd be on the Lakers. There are two reasons Buddy Heald and Miles Turner aren't on the Lakers, and it's number one because of Buddy Heald's contract that you have to fit it. The only possible fit is Russell Westbrook. Well, guess what? If I'm the Lakers, I'm thinking, why do I have to give you Russell Westbrook? Like, Miles Turner and Buddy Heald for Russell Westbrook and two first-round picks, I feel like I'm getting gypped here. And the Lakers are getting gypped because those are the two highest-coveted first-round draft picks available in the entire NBA. The 2027 Lakers pick is projected to be a gold mine. all right? A guaranteed top pick. A guaranteed top lottery pick. Well, I just have so many issues with this, man. Like, I don't think the Lakers need to do this trade. It just sucks that Buddy Heald isn't on a more team-friendly contract because he'd be on the Lakers right now and so would Russell Westbrook. Like, it's... There's just so many moving parts. Like, you know, oh, whoa, the Indian Pacers want to get rid of Buddy Heald. Well, <laughs> really? <laughs> Do you have, like, championship aspirations? Why else would you want to have Buddy Heald on your basketball team? Like, I, I, (laughs) they're rebuilding, and those are two veterans who can literally help a contending team, i.e. the Los Angeles Lakers. So I don't think Indiana's ever going to figure this one out because we've been talking about trading Miles Turner for ages. They just recently acquired Buddy Heald, but... I don't know quite exactly what their asking price is going to be just judging by what they wanted and have like wanted and still want for Miles Turner. I'm guessing it's a little ridiculous. It's just I don't think <laughs> I don't think this is happening, man. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Hit that like button, hit that sub button. Ugh.